What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It has been a while. I actually went to the beginning of January to the Kruger National Park here in South Africa and I thought it would be a really cool thing if I filmed some stuff and took you guys along for the, the trip. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you guys are all well and I'll catch you guys soon. So the flight luckily was just under about two hours from Cape Town to Joburg which is pretty short and we rented a car in Joburg and as you can see now started driving through towards the Kruger National Park. It ended up taking us about 5 hours and 40 minutes and that was actually to Skakuza rest camp inside the Kruger National Park. We just have to get our wild card stuff out. You have arrived. So we drove from Joburg straight into the rest camp called Skakuza, it's the largest rest camp in the park and the park itself is 19,623 kilometers squared or 7,576 square miles so absolutely massive and there are actually private camps that you can go to if you do not wish to stay in these sort of bungalows and chalets and stuff so there are options for various price ranges depending on what you're looking for and over here I'm just kind of showing you this little bungalow we're staying at we booked kind of late um, which was a bit of a bummer but we usually get one right by the water right by the Sabi River which is really cool if you're gonna come to Skakuza Otherwise, there are lots of other really rad camps I'll show you later on in the video. There was um, a cool one we went to that we've never actually been to before. Hey, what's up, morning guys? So, uh, we've just woken up. It's, uh, I don't have my phone on me, but it's like 5.30. The gate opens at 4.30 now in um, summer. Um, I'll show you some videos yesterday. We saw some elephants crossing the road. We saw a leopard in a tree, um, we saw some really cool stuff, so I'll show you guys that. So the big thing about the Kruger National Park, obviously when you go, you've got to realize that you are not guaranteed to see anything. It's really wild, it's amazing. There's lots of buck and there's lots of stuff that you will definitely see if you get there, but obviously leopards and cheetahs and rhinos and lions and kind of the big five, you never actually know if you're going to be able to see that or not, which is quite an intriguing thing about actually going to somewhere that is still so wild. Season wise, it is a rainy season from October to April. So we actually went during their kind of rainy green sort of season where there's an abundance of water, which means that the animals aren't kind of congregating around watering holes like they would in the dry seasons. If you go in the dry season, which is May to September, that's considered best for viewing animals as they'll all obviously be around the watering holes and the sources of water. And also the bush is all dead and dry, so you can kind of see a lot further through it. If you're going to rent a car, I do recommend if you can afford it to get a car that's high or higher off the ground, like a Bucky or a 4x4 or an SUV. Um, that kind of gives you a little bit of advantage with uh, when it comes to height when you're doing self drives. Otherwise, you can always rent a smaller car and then do drives from either camp. They do like night drives, as you'll see later on during the video, and morning drives and walks and all sorts of cool stuff. So it's pretty cool. We were sitting on that bridge crossing over on the way to back to Skakuza from our drive, and that lioness I showed you guys crossing the water was pretty far away. Eventually, walked over the bridge. I'll show you the guys the, the footage I got now. I actually, got quite a fright because it walked straight past the car and I was like half out the window. Um, but yeah, so, so cool to see it. We're so lucky that we've kind of done a few hours drive and been able to see what we've seen. Okay, so we're actually just going to walk down to the river down here at, uh, at Skakoon. So I'll take you guys there and uh, just show you what's up. sunset drive sort of thing um, and we are leaving at 4 we're leaving at 15 minutes it goes from 4 15 we kind of meet up just down the road over here and we go from 4 30 so that should be cool you can kind of see down there one of those trucks I don't know if you can see it but I'll put a picture up um, which is quite cool and then we go for like a sunset drive for three hours or whatever it should be rad
such a fun evening drive and we were super happy to see a little pack of hyena lying right next to the side of the road, little babies, so that was really really cool. So we're literally driving down this little dirt road and I turn back to my left and look over my shoulder and I see him, this leopard, just chilling in this tree. So we're actually super lucky, we were only car on the road and we ended up actually having lunch and checking him out for about half an hour. So my father-in-law arrived and we picked him up from the Skakuza airport. We started driving from Skakuza down to a camp called Pretorius Corp, which I'd actually never been to, but I'll show you quite a few clips of it. It's actually absolutely amazing. Just wide open areas, such a really, really cool place with the most amazing pool. So we swam for quite a bit and then got ready for our last night drive um, before we left back to Cape Town. We were incredibly lucky to actually see these animals and we got to spend a couple of hours with them along with the night drive which was really really cool. We actually ended up being pretty lucky on our way out to drive to the Skakuza airport. We decided to fly from the Skakuza airport back to Cape Town and there is an Avis car rental place actually. So if you do want to do the drive one way and then fly back that's always an option so we saw a pack of wild dog and we saw a couple of animals on the way out we ended up flying home from Skakuza airport to Cape Town if you've made it this far I appreciate you guys watching I hope you enjoyed the video I have put up a website for fundraising if you want to pause the video there they are a non-profit organization sand parks and they obviously manage all the parks so they are always looking for help from the public Hope you guys are all well, hope your families are all safe, keep well and I'll catch you guys soon, hopefully on the trails as my training for the next ultra race will commence.